हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सोशल साइंस जियोग्राफी लेसन नंबर फोर हाईलाइट्स ऑफ इंडिया फॉरेस्ट रिसर्व इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द लेसन दैट मींस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ द लेसन सो वेलकम टू जियोग्राफी लेसन नंबर फोर इंडिया फॉरेस्ट रिसोर्स first of all what is forest it is one more question the total plant life growing naturally in an area is called forest which factors decide the type of forest temperature rain land forms and soil are the few factors which decide the type of forest mention the types of forest found in india there are six different types of forests evergreen forest deciduous monsoon forest tropical grasslands mangrove forest desert vegetation alpine forests of himalayan range a few objective type of questions here in the form of filling the blanks the largest area under forest is found in the state dash the least area under forest is found in the state dash the first biosphere reserve of india is dash karnataka stands dash position in the in percentage of forest the answers are the largest area under forest is in madhya pradesh the least area under forest is haryana the first biosphere reserves of india is nilgiris karnataka stands ninth position in area of forest tim corbett national park in uttarakhand is the first national park to be established in india now let us know each type of forest first of all we have evergreen forest evergreen forest receives 250 cm and more rainfall ebony and mahogany trees rosewood rubber are found here they are found in western side of western ghat assam meghalaya tripura manipur nagaland and andaman and nicobar islands second type deciduous monsoon forest this type of forest receives 75 to 250 cm of rainfall teak sal sandalwood trees are found here the trees shed their leaves during dry winters that is in the month of february the third type of forest found in india is tropical grassland region it receives 60 to 75 cm of rainfall babul sesam and sabai grass are tree are found here and in the picture babul tree is given central parts of peninsula are plateau border areas of thar desert to the west of aravallis have tropical grassland regions mangrove vegetation mangrove forests are also called tidal forests because they are formed by tides of the sea most common trees found here is sundari tree in gangetic delta these mangrove forests are found along the deltas and coastal regions and estuaries of rivers that are subject to tides example the estuaries of ganga godavari mahanadi krishna 
Desert vegetation. Desert vegetation receives less than 50 centimeters of rainfall. They are deep rooted plants and thorny shrubs. The Thar Desert in Rajasthan and its adjoining areas in Punjab, Haryana, and Gujarat have this type of vegetation. Cactus is the most commonly found vegetation here. Now, let us see the sixth type of vegetation. As the height increases, the tropical type of climate changes into the polar type of climate here. In this polar type of climate, at the peak, you have snow capped mountains. At the bottom, you have evergreen and monsoon type of vegetation. And up to 4,800 meters, you find coniferous forest. Then above it, you have lichens and mosses. Then snow capped mountain, no oxygen, no vegetation. Importance of forest. Forest provide pure air, food, fodder. It brings good rainfall. It controls soil erosion. It is a shelter house for animals and birds. Medicinal plants are found in abundance. It attracts tourists, provides employment opportunities. It controls ecological balance. Reasons for deforestation Expansion of agriculture area Animal grazing in the forest limits Construction of roads and rail routes destroy forest including irrigational projects Forest fire and mining are the two reasons for the deforestation. Methods of conservation Cutting down of dried up and abrasing trees which causes forest fire. Protecting the forest trees against diseases. Planting saplings. Sowing seeds, guarding against illegal cutting of trees. Methods of conservation Avoiding grazing of domestic animals in forests, motivating people to plant saplings, creating awareness among people about trees and encouraging them to protect them. Implementing social forestry projects and speedily and successfully it should be implemented. Now let us see wildlife sanctuaries. In India, we have many number of wildlife sanctuaries. Here I am mentioning few. In Tamil Nadu, Madhumalai and Kanyakumari wildlife sanctuary. In Andhra Pradesh, it is Kolle, Kolleru and Krishna. National Parks Kaziranga National Park of Assam, Gir National Park of Gujarat, Kanna National Park of Madhya Pradesh, Tadova National Park, Maharashtra. Biosphere Reserves Nilgiri, Nanda Devi, Nokrek, Great Nicobar, Gulf of Mannar, Manas Sundarbans, Simli Pal, Kanchanajunga are biosphere reserves. I wish you all the best dear students. Thanks for watching till the end. Keep watching SP Search online learning for both English as well as social science. I have already posted English first language. I continue to do the same. Make use of this channel information. All the best. Thank you.